who blows. But the blows don't have to be physical or even emotional, mental. A tiny bite, a tiny sting is enough to build a new approach. It all depends on the attention. And the attention depends on the importance. And the importance depends on the environment. On the extent to which the environment pays attention to this phenomenon as well. This is why Bala Sulam says that there is nothing in the world that a person cannot develop a feeling for, cannot feel. It's possible. The only question is to what extent it, it, it's appealing to him, it's important to him. And here everything is given to the environment. Therefore, we have to demand of the environment to give you to give you an example, a good example of how to you how to crave spirituality, how to be better to people, how to develop kilim vessels, how to enter the Avut, mutuality where everyone should help the others. If each of us is like a representative of the Creator toward the others in the group, then everything is in our hands. We're not dependent on the Creator. The Creator is a law. It's a power that exists in reality. It's a constant existing and unchanging force. The more we can, the extent to which we can use it depends on us. The one who is changing and who changes is only we. But we means the group. And the fact that we don't want to connect is the reason for our prolonged situation. Because if we connect, then we are the owners of the whole of reality. And then you draw the upper light and you do everything through the connection among the friends. Good luck. Last question. Yeah. <laughs> You're Hello, here uh, too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm tracking you. <laughs> Uh, hello, Rav, and hello, Berkeley. Uh, do, in this Congress, we have many, many new peoples, and we use lots of term term terminology. <laughs> My English is not that good. Uh, and uh, in order to really go deep into the workshop and not um, get lost in the terminology, which we don't understand, uh, how to understand the word awut? This is one of these words we use all the time. And uh, for the newcomers, can you just make a short description of this word? Thank you. Mutual commitment. When I promise you my participation, my support for everything you need on the way, and you commit to me, as well. Just as we said that a person should leave for himself only the desire by which he connects to, to others, becomes attached to others, and everything else belongs to the others. So I leave for me only this desire from which I become attached to the others, and you do the same. And that way we become attached to one another. And in our common desires, we build the spiritual world because it doesn't belong to me or to you, but there we discover 
the relation of bestowal between us, which is called the Creator. For at least the next 30 minutes. Good luck. Okay, friends. It's now 12. Hi, everybody. Have I got a surprise for you? Uh, seriously, I, I'm really, I was really glad when they asked me to show you this because uh, <laughs> a long time ago, uh, when I first started studying and watching Rav many, many years ago, uh, I had a friend that started me in this, his name's Heimrat, and uh, he, he was very, very sneaky in the way he did things. And what he did was he said, hey, I've got this, you know, three or four paragraphs, I want you to edit it. You know, and I, I, so I started editing a few things. He said, do me a favor. I didn't realize that the work inside the books to be able to involve myself in the books, to get inside the book somewhat, was so important and would have such a meaning. It's absolutely incredible. And then I was fortunate enough to get to edit some. But there's been books missing. These books, we've been waiting on a long, long, long time. These, uh, these are the writings of the letters of Rabash and his essays. And we use them all the time in class. And we haven't had them. They haven't been available to us. Well, actually, they have. I've had it in Hebrew, and you ought to see that. I mean, I'm sitting here with my dictionary open trying to go through it. Ori, I hope you brought enough of these, because uh, these are a necessity, this, and, and, and this is everything that we do, all the things that we need, the instruction manual that allows us to be in that laboratory and operate correctly. So... Rob and B'nai Baruch, I, I, I want to thank you all so, so much for getting these done. Thank you. This is a great privilege. And uh, what should I add? Uh, what should I add? Ah. This is really uh, a, 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 work, a lot of work of a lot of people. Chaim Watts and other translators and a whole lot and other people who helped and Mike Kellogg with his friends a large group of people and in general our English department works very hard and we can see the fruits let's hope that we get more and more writings of Kabbalists in English sources real authentic source text and the whole world will be able to be nourished by it and get the right direction toward correction I'm proud of these friends and thank the creator for sending them humanity is yet to be grateful for it Rob, I have a favor to ask. These are mine, <laughs> by the way. Uh, what, what I would very much like is, uh, if you would, for us to come out and, and, and sign for us. And, uh, of course... <laughs> yeah. Yes. I will uh, go and sign. When? Now? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to sign books after the song, right? And we'll see you there. So again. Thank you. The Writings of Abash, Volumes 1 and 2. Okay. While they last.
Depends on 